What's that? That should be the heart of Oasis. All we need to do is light it with the fire seed, and it'll restore a pep with elemental power. The damage it suffered internally will also slowly begin to heal. Then let's hurry and light it! We still need to find the Traveler! Alright, hang on. Uh. Wait! The fire seed! What happened? It shattered! It was even more unstable than I expected. But... why? We barely used it! I'm not sure. Perhaps the fire seed was only capable of protecting one person? But if I didn't use its power on everyone, there's no way of knowing where you could have been sucked into. And even if that's the case, there's no reason for it to simply shatter, uh, unless... Unless what? <sighs> unless I was already in a weakened state when I created this fire seed. Which would be when we at first saved the desert. Oh no. Wait, let's put that aside for a moment. If the fire seed has shattered, wouldn't that mean we came all this way for nothing? Oh, do you know what we should do now, Nahida? Oh, come on, Paimon, think! I... Uh, <sighs> Don't worry, Paimon. This is my responsibility. The fire seed is technically just a ball of highly concentrated elemental power. Although my elemental power is slightly different than that of elemental life forms, I gained a better understanding of it when I turned into a fungus. So, all I have to do is imitate that power, while adding some of my own. And I'll be able to do what the fire seed was supposed to. You're gonna become the fire seed? Yes. It'll take a lot of power from me, but it still won't be anything compared to when I was in the desert. I might, however... become even smaller. What happens if you keep getting smaller? I'll become a blade of grass, or a twig. Basically, I'll return to how I was first born. I will be able to unleash power beyond my limits if I can reverse the process of growth. But... you'll lose everything. You'll not only lose your appearance, but... you'll lose your emotions, memories, and... who knows what else? That's all right. None of that matters compared to the dangers that a pep is facing right now. No, no, wait! There has to be another way. Besides, what will Sumeru do if you turn into a twig? Maybe you and the Traveler can plant me in the soil of Sumeru once it is all over. I can still communicate with the world through the forest. It's just that you won't be able to see me for some time. You can't be serious. If the Traveler were here, she definitely wouldn't let you go through with it. If we knew this was how you were going to take responsibility, then we never would have agreed in the first place. I'm sorry, Paimon, but we're out of options. Not all eagles who have fallen to the ground can soar in the sky once again. But if no risks are taken, then the eagle will be grounded forever. No. Please, no, Nahida! Uh, 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 yeah! uh, 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 uh. I know. A sacrifice must be made, huh? but not by the Lord of Dendro. <sighs> We've all grown on this long journey. If the purpose of that growth was to return home, then our wishes have come true. Would you lend us your power? would come to this. All the knowledge, language, and emotions that you have learned will be reverted into pure elemental energy. In your new homeland, nothing of who you were will remain. You won't be remembered by anyone. 
Is that truly the return you've always dreamed of? Lord of Dendro, don't be sad. This is not your home. We go home. Lord of Dendro should also go home. Desires. Awaken! 